Okay, a few more examples. We are going to see if these functions are of exponential orders or not. Let's look at the first one. And just like in the previous video, we are going to check the limit, right? So we put on check, and we take the limit as t goes to infinity, and then we put this on the top, e to the t squared over t plus 1, and we put down e to the whatever number right here, we don't know yet, and then we multiply by t. This is our job. We have to figure out what number to put down right here so that this is going to be 0. Okay, we do notice that we have the t squared in the exponent of e, but this is t squared over t plus 1. Therefore, we have a better chance. Well, how can we handle this though? The way to do it is we are going to do some long division. So let's look at it right here. I'm going to divide this for you guys right here. If we divide t squared by t plus 1, and I will just put down t right here because I know t times t will give us t squared. t times that is just plus t, right? And we will subtract, and this is going to be that's 0. 0 minus t is just negative t, isn't it? And I can put down plus 0, but you can just do it again. You can say this is minus 1. Minus 1 times t is negative t. Minus 1 times 1 is negative 1. And then you subtract again. So that's gone, and then 0 minus negative 1 is positive 1, okay? Anyways, just do some long division on your own. And this is how you're going to look at this. I need to erase this to save space. Instead of putting down t squared over t plus 1, I'm going to write it down as t minus 1 first. So that's this part, t minus 1 as the exponent. And then we have 1 over the original denominator. So we put down plus 1 over 1 plus t, or t plus 1 technically, like that, right? Okay, well, as you can see, this is technically just an exponential part, e to the t. And then you have e to the negative 1, e to that. This is what you can do if you would like. This right here is the same as saying, the limit as t goes to infinity all over e to the something t I don't know yet and I do want to make this equal to 0 at the end. This is e to the t and then times e to the negative 1 and then times e to the 1 over t plus 1. Okay? And you remember t goes to infinity. Well, if t goes to infinity, this is e to the t, and then this is e to the something t. Just, you know, I'm going to pick it for you right here to make it work. This is just 1 over e. This is going to be what? If t is infinity, you have infinity here in the bottom. 1 over infinity is 0, so this is just 1, right? So this is done. This is done. This and that, we have to just make it happen nicely. This is 1t, this is something t. I can just choose this to be 2 and this will work out nicely, right? I can just choose this to be 2. I will show you this in D will be 0. And let me just erase this real quick, because now you'll see if you take the limit as t goes to infinity, e to the t, e to the 2t, cancel, cancel, you still have e to the t on the bottom, right? And then this is just the number e to the negative 1, and this is just e to the 1 over t plus 1. Do we end up with 0? Yes, we do. Because when you plug in, zero, when you plug in infinity in here, 1 over infinity is just 1. This is a number. All to get on the top is just a number, 1 over e. And then divided by infinity is 0. Okay? Therefore, this is of exponential order. That's excellent. Next one, and once again, here we see the t squared in the e, but the whole thing here is inside of the sine function. Anyways, we will do the usual check. The limit as t goes to infinity, put this down on the top, sine of e to the t squared, and we are going to find out e to the what t will make the whole thing equal to 0. All right? Earlier, as I said, I just chose 2, right? So we choose uh, alpha to be 2. Right? And this right here, I just have to figure out what to choose if that's possible. <laughs> yes, this is scary looking, but inside of the sign, 
the whole thing right here is at most one, isn't it? Because that's a range of sine. It doesn't matter what you have inside, because whatever you have inside, sine of five R is at most equal to one. So right here, I can just go ahead and choose any value that I want. I can just say choose alpha is equal to one to make it work. Because now, when you plug in infinity into here, I don't know what this is, but at most it's just one. When I plug in infinity to here, e to the infinity, just infinity, you get zero, of course. So sine of e to the t squared, yes, this is also of exponential order. Let's look at the last one, e to the sine t. So now let's go ahead and put down the limit as t goes to infinity, e to the sine t over e to the something t. Hopefully, I can make this equal to zero as well. Well, well, here is sine t. Once again, sine t is at most one. If this is at most one, e to the at most one is just at most e to the first power, right? So in other words, the whole thing here, on the top, on the top altogether, this is at most e to the first power, which is e. It's just a number. So on the bottom, all I have to do is choose alpha to be one. So let me just put this down, choose alpha to be 1, and then what happens again, right? You get 0. So once again, this right here is also of exponential order, all right? And this is how you can illustrate if a given function is of exponential order or not. That's it.